And we're on the Scales Beta Gaming Private Nitrado server. And in this video, I wanted to talk about a couple of amazing mods that if you haven't installed to your uh, Daisy Nitrado private server or any other sort of uh, Daisy private server, you know, you really want to do it. And that, funnily enough, isn't Daisy Expansion, <laughs> which is all the helicopters you can see. Now, Daisy Expansion is amazing, and you can do things like um, fly helicopters and do all sorts of stuff. The two mods we're talking about are uh, the CF mod, the Community Framework, and the... Hello, what's that zombie doing? <laughs> what is he doing? You can't fly a helicopter. Get out of there. Um, and the Community Online Tools mod. Um and I will link to those on Steam in the description down below. And I will also link to, in the description down below, um, my instructions for installing the DAISY expansion mod on PC, because the first half of that video is all about installing um, the, the Community Framework mod and the Community Online Tools mod. So what, what is special about the Community Online Tools mod? Well, it's the fact that you can do stuff like this. All everything you can see here, all these helicopters and these tents and that vehicle and the stuff that's in these tents. So a quick look. All that food and the fact that there's fuel in the helicopters. All that stuff has been spawned in magically using the um, community online tools. So after you've installed it properly, what you can do is you 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 press a key, delete or something like that to activate it. Then you just press Y and you bring up this menu you can see on the right hand side. And the first thing we can look at is if you look at player management, you can select you or any other player that are on the server, and you can have something like God mode. So that means that um, you can't be killed, which is which is really cool. Um, it tells you where to do, it and you can teleport stuff. Um, you also can bring up the map, and once you've brought up the map, so we're down at. Um, we're down here, aren't we? That's where we are. We're down at Bolotta Airfield. But let's say I wanted to go up to, say, I don't know, Tizzy. Where is the Tizzy military base? There it is. There's Tizzy military base. Zoom in and say, actually, I want to go here. Dunk! <laughs> you double click and look where we are. Let me shut this down. We're up in Tizzy. It's really cool, isn't it? Very easy, very quick. You go all over the place. So let's. So the other thing you can do as well is if you don't want to use the map, you can just teleport. And the teleport gives you names of common places. So if we want to go to back to the Bolotta airstrip, dunk, and there we are. I should, I should have put my helicopters over here, shouldn't I? And then we're back here. And then what we'll do, let's uh, go over here a little bit more. Um, And then what we'll do, I think probably here. Right, now we're going to go into the object spawner. So in the object spawner, you can scroll through, or you can partic pick particular things, say, say a can of Pepsi, and then you could choose to spawn it in on the cursor, which would be kind of in the middle of the screen. You could spawn it in on yourself, so it would appear next to you, or a selected player. So you know when we were in the player management uh, screen earlier, if you'd selected someone else in the server, you could spawn stuff in on them. So for example, if I say self, let's do a couple of them, and then you come out of that. Lo and behold, on the ground next to me are a couple of cans of Pepsi. But even cooler than that, bring it up so we could say uh, object spawner and then we could go vehicles slide down to the bottom and you fancy a C-130 dunk 
Let's get out of here. There we go. Now we've got a C-130. I'm not sure whether you can fly this thing in this mod or not. Let's have a look. If you go up to it. See, it's got spaces for stuff. You can put the wheels on it, can't you? Hmm. I'll have to give that a go. Um, generally, when you spawn things in, they don't spawn in with... The, so, for example, vehicles won't spawn in with... Um, uh, wheels on or uh, spark plugs in or radiators but all you do is you simply go into the uh, object spawner and say you wanted a radiator just type radiator and then you could bring them up what's really cool as well is, <coughs> excuse me if we come over here Go over here, let's go inside this tent. You can spawn in these item sets, which are really cool. And so th these, if I, if I let's spawn in the watchtower wood. Right, so that's spawned in that sea chest. And then if we have a look what's in the sea chest, you'll see you've got, whoop, where's it gone? you'll see you've got a um, watchtower kit and you've got a load of wood so and you've got hammers um, and then you've got a spade and you've got camo netting everything you need to build a watchtower yeah a really nice watchtower as well I mean how absolutely brilliant is that so if you think what you could do is you could say spawn in a vehicle or a helicopter if you've got the daisy expansion mod and then put one of these kits in the back and then fly where you want to go if you wanted to or remember the, the only reason in order to make the, the the community framework mod and the um community on the tools mod to work like this you have to be uh, the admin on the server i should have said that at the beginning really shouldn't I? it's not like everybody can do this who comes on your server it's only it's only the admin i mean you could make other players the mod moderators so they would have similar powers um, but you can imagine, say, say you had a PVE or especially a PVP server, you could set up these, um, you know, amazing events. I mean, look at this. Imagine you had a PVP server, you know, a, a, a well-populated one. You can spawn in, and in about in about half an hour, you could have a whole squadron of helicopters ready to go, which everybody could jump in, you know, weapons and all, and then they could start flying towards the enemy, um, and you could have these amazing battles absolutely brilliant now is there anything else we should have gone through v vehicle spawner and ex vehicles i'm not sure what they do whether you can change the weather on your um server temporarily as well i don't know what ex general does oh esp tool they allow you to see things coming basically which is which is which would be fairly cool so there we go the community framework mod and the community online tools mod very very powerful tools for the admin uh, yourself on your private nitrado server or other uh, daisy servers get it installed it's a little bit fiddly to install that's why i say you know if you read the instructions um uh, that are on the mod um they're okay but i would say watch watch the video that i've done because again the, the video that i've done that's all about installing the uh, daisy expansion mod the first half of it is about ex installing cf and um, community online tools Anyway, there we go. That's enough from me, though. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon.